Morning, everybody. First thing I want to do is I need want to remember this, so I'm going to take your photo. So if you could smile, you can wave if you like. Thanks. I just need to do something with that photo. You'll find out later. Right, if I could have my PowerPoint on, please. Um, this morning, I want to talk to you about what difference can I possibly make? It's in the small things. And I want to sort of give you a bit of a personal testimony of where I've come from and the things I've been through in life. So some of you know me, some of you don't. My name is Hannah. Um, I've got two beautiful boys. There they are. Um, Toby's four and a half. Samuel will be nine months old tomorrow. And um, we live in River. I'm a qualified teacher. I've been teaching for nearly 10 years. I grew up with my mum and dad and my brother in Buckinghamshire. And we went to the King's Church, Amersham. And when I was 12 years old, a couple called Jenny and Duncan Dyson came to talk to me and my Friday Club group. They work in um, a place called Guatemala with a charity called the Toy Box Charity. And I remember going home that evening and I said to my mum and dad, when I'm 18, I'm going to leave school and I'm going to go to Guatemala. I'm going to take a gap year. And I remember my mum and dad looking at me and thinking, yeah, okay, whatever, Hannah, you're 12 years old. You've not even started secondary school yet and already you've got this dream. But God had put it on my heart that when I was 18, I was going to leave school, I was going to go to Guatemala, and I was going to work with the street children. Toy Box started in 1992 with a football, a first aid kit, and three members of staff. 23 years later, they are working with 10,600 children in six countries, raising about £1.6 million every year. I remember when I was on the plane flying out to Guatemala, we'd been given these facts and figures. There were about 100 million children living on the streets, and I was thinking, 100 million children? I'm me. What difference am I going to make to 100 million children? And actually, it was in my time in Guatemala, I realized I'm not going to make a difference to all those children, but I am going to make a difference to one or two. And there's a couple of stories from my time that I'd like to share with you. Um, what we used to do, we used to go out in an afternoon and an evening onto the streets. If I could have the next picture, please. Thank you. And we would take a first aid kit and football and games, and we'd just go and sit as a group on a, in a grassy area. We'd have our red tea, toy box T-shirts on, and the children would be drawn to us. They knew that those red T-shirts were a sign of being accepted, of having some love, and having some time where they just didn't have to think about the reality of their lives. And my job one day was to do the first aid. And this little boy came up to me and he showed me his arm and he said, can you help me? I've hurt myself, I need you to help me. And I looked down at his arm and there was a scar there, probably two or three years old, and I thought, you don't need my help. There's nothing I can do for this. And actually, that didn't matter. What he wanted was my time. He wanted me to show him that he was worth it, that he was an individual who was loved and who was wanted. So I did. I got out my antiseptic wipe. I cleaned his arm. I got out a plaster, and I plastered him up. And he went away with a spring in his step. Oh, someone cares for me. It didn't matter that he didn't actually need it, but actually, that small thing of an antiseptic wipe and a plaster made a big difference in that little boy's life that day. Another thing that I will always remember, and something that makes me chuckle now, if we could have the next picture, is colouring. My Toby sort of likes colouring. He's not very good at it. He gets a bit carried away, and it's more a scribble. But working in schools, I know that children really generally quite like colouring. I quite enjoy colouring as well, if I'm honest. And it would amaze me. We'd sit down with the team, and we'd get out colouring books and pencils. And it wasn't just the children that came and joined us. It was the young adults as well. And it amazed me how these 20-somethings would sit down with a colouring book, with some pencils, and just get completely absorbed in what they were doing. It's a very small thing, a colouring book and some pencils, but the difference it made 
in those people's lives were huge. They didn't have to think about the reality of where they were. They didn't have to worry at that time, where am I going to sleep tonight? Where am I going to get my next meal? Who am I going to be? Am I even going to be alive in a year's time? And actually, it was by doing those very small things that those children and young people kept coming back to us as a team, and in time, they went to live in the homes, they went to school, they got an education, and actually they grew up with a hope and with a future because of the very small things. One of my jobs as a gap year student was to write the thank you letters when people sent donations into the office. Um, and I will never forget, one day we had two very exciting letters. The first one was a letter from a very wealthy businessman with a cheque for £10,000 in it. And the excitement in the office, there were six girls on my gap year team, so you can imagine six 18-year-old squeedy girls with a cheque for £10,000 was amazing. And we started having this argument as to who was going to write this letter of thanks, because it was amazing, until we opened the next letter. And it was a letter from a seven-year-old girl, and sellotaped to the bottom of this letter was 50 pence. And the letter read something along the lines of, I emptied my money box, I want to give you all I have. This is 50p for the children who live on the streets. And suddenly the argument changed, actually I wanted to write a letter for that little girl. Because it reminded me of the story in the Bible when the widow went and gave all she had. She gave two coins and that was all she had. And Jesus said, actually she has given more because she's given everything. And it's in those 50p's, in those small things, that the big things can grow. I just want to jump quickly to Africa, if I could have my next picture. Um, my brother and sister-in-law have been working with a charity called Revelation Life, working in Uganda. And I, um, I spoke to Adam yesterday um, when I was finalizing what I was going to say to you this morning. And I said, can you tell me about the small things in the charity that make the biggest difference? And this is a picture that is showing school shoes being given out to children. In order for the children to go to school, they have to wear proper school shoes. And for the families out there, that's a, a big ask, because they don't really have much finances. These school shoes cost a pound a pair which is nothing, really, to us. But to the families out there, it's a big thing. So the charity Revelation Life did a big push a few years ago, just asking people to give a pound. They received thousands of pounds worth of donations. And that has enabled thousands of children to go to school. Thousands of children to get an education, to have a hope, to have a future. Something very, very small has made a massive difference in those children's lives. I'm going to fast forward a few years to you guys. So if I could have my next picture. Um, I've spoken to you before about Tiny Toes and the lifeline that Tiny Toes was and actually still is to me. If it wasn't for Tiny Toes, I would not be standing here now. I would not be part of this wonderful congregation. I would not have the friends in some of you that I have now. I, can, I honestly can say that. If Laura hadn't kept bugging me to keep bringing Toby back, I wouldn't be here. I'm now starting to, to have a part on the um, Tiny Toes leadership team. And I just want to share something quite exciting with you. We ask for £2 contribution for Tiny Toes for, per family, per session. Um, in January, I started taking over the financial side of it. And from the beginning of January to the end of June, Tiny Toes has generated an income of £1,361. From a £2 per family per session, that is the income that we have generated. With that money, we are able to help fund Fun Fridays, help do Kids at the Well, the community days. Today, we are starting a, um, a holiday club. We're inviting our non-Christian families to. If one person gives their life to the Lord because of that £2 contribution, that is a massive difference in that person's life. Massive. Um, and lastly... Hopefully, oh, let's see if Dave can do it. Hi. 
hopefully it will appear. Um, that's the reason I took the photo, because I was liking, hoping that you were going to appear on that screen. I want to say thank you to you all. Some of you have done what you might think are very small things for me and my boys these last few months. But actually, those very small things have made a massive difference to me and them. They've made me want to keep being in this place and with you. They've made my life easier. Small things like meals. When I had Samuel, we were provided with dinners for two and a half weeks. And for you, cooking an extra couple of dinners might have been nothing, but to me and my family, it was huge. It made a massive difference. Things like flowers, things like prayers. I have some of you send me messages. Actually, Hannah, Chris said it to me this morning. Hannah, I need to pray with you. I need to pray for you. It's a small thing, but to me, it's making a massive difference in my life. Things like puddings. Things like surprise birthday presents. They're small things to you, but they make a massive difference to me. They mean, actually, I can get up, I can get on with my day, and I can get through life. I can come here on a Sunday morning and know that I am completely loved and accepted. And that is making a massive difference in my life, and actually in the boys' lives as well. They will grow up in this church knowing how loved they are. And I want to say thank you for that. Um, the thing <laughs> I've, I've said to a few people, I've rewritten the end of this, I don't know how many times the last few weeks. There you are. You lovely lot. Um, <laughs> um, the thing I want to leave you with is what small thing are you going to do today that actually has the potential to make a massive difference in someone's life. So just have a think. What small thing, it doesn't matter how old or how young you are, what small thing are you going to do today that could make a massive difference in someone's life? Are you going to tell a friend that you've been praying for, that you've been praying for them? Are you going to bake someone a cake and take it round? Are you simply just going to give someone a hug and tell them that you love them? Because that small thing might make a massive difference in their lives. Um, we're going to play you a video now that our beautiful children have made. <laughs> 